Well, Greensboro native has gone all out for Halloween. Some of these decorations include a 12 foot tall skeleton and a fog machine that gives the illusion you are in a swamp. WFM News 2's Taylor Leverett gives you a sneak peek. I told a lot of them, I said it's better to come look at it during the day so you're not so scared at night. He's not kidding. From caged zombies, a Michael Myers animatronic to a vomiting skeleton. And you can't miss the six room haunted maze. Every, everything in here is lit up red. We love watching the kids go through here because some of them have such a good time going through. You've got, of course, the ones that are terrified of the stuff, and then you've got ones that love it. I mean, we've had some kids that just circle through there like 25 to 50 times. Greensboro native Ken Williams has been showcasing his Halloween decorations since 2012. And it's something I kind of did with my kids. He says it all began with just a few skeletons and ghosts on his front porch. Now he's got a lot more, so much so he's lost count of how many different displays. Yeah, I'm always uh, working on things throughout the year to get to actually get like some yeah, so a prop kind of or like something else built there. beforehand. You heard it right. If it's not in stores, Ken says he'll build it sure, like this like grave digging not. skeleton and corpse. Ken's not the only one jumping into the trick or treating spirit. A record number of people plan to take part in Halloween related events, according to the National Retail Federation, with Halloween spending to also reach a record of $12.2 billion. <laughs> Ken's displays haven't broken the bank, but despite the price tag, he says he loves the scare his decorations bring. It's something that I, I like doing because I enjoyed it as a kid, and so I know there. I've had kids come up here and sit and watch me make some of this stuff at times, or they like to come out and see it during the daytime. Oh, Taylor, you were brave going through that. You can see Ken's Halloween decor tonight if you dare. We have information on the location on our website, WFMYNews2.com.